Welcome back lighting friends, Rob again with Pathway Connectivity Solutions with the Cognito Lighting Control Console. In the last video we talked about looping cues and linking cues so that uh, you can create loops and use them with inside of a playlist. And this time what we're going to talk about is putting that on a second playlist so that that effect or whatever can track while you maintain things going on the first playlist. So we're going to look at how you could do that first off manually and then how you can automate that with cue actions. So looking at our visualizer here and our um, nice band that we have been playing with for a while in this uh, playlist on my left playback called the stage show. We are familiar now with uh, sitting in this queue called She Sings and then I'm going to press go and go to the bass player which takes her light down and his light up and turns the psych to red and then we'll press go again and we'll go over to the piano player where we go to pink and then we go back to the verse which brings her light up and takes the psych back to that greeny blue look. So. What I've done is on the right playback, I have built a three-step chase, which does what we did last time, which uh, links three cues together so they automatically follow on from each other and has a sort of interesting, if not you know, crazy look on the psych. So if I press go on my right playback button here, let's just have a look what happens so we have a pink blue, we have an amber cyan, and we have an amber green look. And some crazy stuff's happening on the psych. So as that's going, uh, we can go back to the left playlist and we can bounce through our cues and uh, look at our lead singer, our bass player, our piano player, and then back to the lead singer. And the whole time, the right playback is still doing its chase in the background. So in a show situation, you may press the go button here, start your effect over here, and then carry on just moving forward at what time you want over here. Now to get rid of this thing that's happening on the psych, what you would do is you would go to the right playback and you would press the um, release soft key right here and that will basically release the playlist and you'll see it will just fall back to whatever was controlling it before in this case it's actually the left playback and it's this verse cue that keeps the blue on it now that is uh, not always the easiest thing to do so what you may do is just stay looking in the left playback and when that will start the right playback you do not need to look at the right playback because we know that the right playback has this psych chase on it if we look up here in the uh, status bar we see there is a psych chase so we know without even pressing this button to look at it we can stay looking at our left playlist which is our main playlist and we know that the psych is here. We can press it when we want. And to get rid of it, there is no hard button on the desk like that left facing release uh, arrow, this guy here. But what you can do is you can hold down shift and hit the pause back button on the right playlist. And the cue will just fade away and it will go back to the blue look, which is coming from the stage show verse cue. So if you wanted to automate this so that you don't even think about it because every single night when you go into the bass player because we're doing these little bounce off solos you want it to do this crazy look on the psych and then when you get back to the verse you want it to stop. So how do we do that? What we do is we add an action to the cue which will press the button for us. So let's have a look at the um, base cue. Let's just back up into the base cue. You don't really need to be here, but I just want to back up into it. We highlight it in red, so we're editing its properties here. We know that. So what we want to do is press the edit button. 
And we are now looking at the basic properties. If we page down, we get more advanced properties. We looked at these ones at the follow page last week. These are the position and color timing properties. These are the shape timing properties. This is the one we want. It's called action. So we're going to add an action type. Now looking at the yellow wheel, currently there is no action on this queue. So I'm going to roll the yellow wheel. And I see the first action type I get to is a playlist. And on the playlist, I can do a go, which is exactly what I'd like to do. And then I can choose the playlist. And it's already got the psych chase there, but I could roll through all the different playlists in this show. So let's leave it on psych chase. So the base queue is now going to do a playlist go on psych chase. When we're happy with that, we'll press the done button. Now you see there's a little green gear icon in the base red queue. So now let's go, we're going to let that continue to um, function while I arbitrarily hit go on the piano pink solo. And when we get to the verse, this is where we want to kill that thing that's happening on the psych. So I am now highlighting the verse cue. I'm going to press the pencil button to edit it. It has already stayed on the action property page. We're going to roll the yellow wheel to do a playlist. This time we don't want to do a go. We're going to change the action. So on the red wheel, we're going to change it from a go to a, we don't want to release every single playlist, but we do want to release a specific playlist. And again, the green wheel, we can choose which playlist we want to release. And in this case, it is the psych chase, which is great. So now we will just press the done button. And now you get a little green gear on the verse. So let's back up into She Sings, which is our standard look. Now, just using the left button, I am going to go into the bass solo. Now, I want you to look up on the top status bar looking at the psych chase currently it's in dash 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 which means that it is not running a queue but when i press go on the base you will now see that it goes into its three-step chase and it will can carry on uninterrupted and whenever the bass player is done he's going to throw to the piano player so at that point i would press the go button and this chase goes on in the background without any further hindrance. And then when we're ready to go back to the lead singer singing, we press go. And that's when that release will happen. Now, you'll see that it actually happened in about a second or so. Now that's sort of hidden. I was going to show you. If you wanted a slightly more subtle look when you come out, what we can do is change the release time of the playlist. Now each queue has properties for fade time, but when you're releasing the playlist, where you get the properties for that is actually editing the properties of the playlist itself. So how do you do that, you ask? From the play task down here, what we're going to do is we're going to press the more button, and now we see a list of all of the playlists in our show. We want to edit these. So I press the pencil button and the one I'm going to edit is the psych chase and you will see these are the properties of the playlist itself. Right now the yellow wheel has the release time at one second. So if I roll this to something much more subtle like 10, we're going to watch what happens this time. There's a couple other things while we're in here, you might as well just look for it. Um, lock for editing. if. If you want to protect the queue list from accidental deletion or um, timing changes or moves, you can turn this on. Uh, reset to start on release is a great one. If you always want the chase, this three-step chase we do, to start at the top, the first queue, 
um, when you have reset to start on release, what happens is every time the queue list is released, that little green next queue pointer goes up to the top of the list. Um, and the green spinner there has a uh, run at startup. And this is great for architectural situations like in a bar or a museum, or maybe even if you, the first queue in a playlist uh, is the rehearsal lights or the lamp check. You can roll this green wheel to yes, and every time you start up the desk, this playlist would actually start. Now, in this case, it's probably not a great idea to start a psych chase every time you start the desk. So we're gonna leave that as is. I'm gonna press the done button now. The only change that's gonna happen is this red 10 second on the release time. And now what I wanna do is I want to run this sequence again. So I will triple click on She Sings. I'm going to go into my bass solo. And there we see our chase doing its little thing. I'm gonna go over to the piano player, doing its thing. Now I'm gonna go back to the verse. We're gonna watch a 10 second release to go to the blue. And it's done. So there we go. That's a little bit about playlist automation and cue actions. Next time we're going to take a much closer look at the left and the right playlist. What happens when you actually are running two at the same time? Who has control over the lights and how you can relinquish that control. So I hope you join me next time. Thank you very much.